Jessica. A chaotic scene in South LA. Surveillance video shows the crashing into a police pursuit of a stolen truck. That truck plowed through a fence at a fruit stand and then hit a food truck. KTLA's John Finolio spoke to the owner of that stolen truck and has more on the crash. Good evening, everybody. That stolen truck actually crashed right here, narrowly missing this food truck. Tonight, you can see business is back up and running, but this was an incredibly close call. A police pursuit ends in a violent crash in South L.A. A local food truck capturing the moment of impact on its onboard security camera of a stolen pickup truck slamming into a fruit stand, narrowly missing bystanders. I've had that in the family for a long time, and I really took care of it. You know, for me, it costs a lot of money. Redondo Beach resident Joe Montoya awoke to the bad news this morning after his daughter Jocelyn returned from taking out the trash. My dad usually parks his truck in front of the house, and there was just this big empty space, and the truck was missing. The theft captured on the family's home surveillance system around 1 in the morning. An SUV pulls up, a guy gets out. In less than four minutes, Joe's truck is gone. I depend on that truck heavily. I do all kinds of property maintenance. Around 1 this afternoon, LAPD is alerted to a low jack signal on a stolen vehicle on the 110 freeway. Officers pursuing the pickup for a short distance before the suspect crashes on the 400 block of West Vernon Avenue in the Vermont Square neighborhood. Sky 5 overhead moments after the crash. Montoya stunned to see KTLA's footage of his truck on social media. The, the truck being on the news and, and the uh, footage that you guys showed, it is a 99, so it's older. And it's unique in that I took very good care of it. Uh, I, I can spot that truck. You, you wouldn't see one around like that. The truck all but destroyed after impact. Montoya says the next few months without it will be difficult. Incredibly, none of the bystanders were injured. No one was killed. The driver of that stolen vehicle, though, had to be rescued from the wreckage. He was taken to a hospital in serious condition. Reporting in South L.A., I'm John Finolio, KTLA 5 News.